going to make a new sail. It was definitely the right move to start out with only a six meter sail. Once I felt that I could comfortably handle it in 20 knots or more, using a six meter sail just felt like it was under canvas and less wind. And also I wanted to go faster and a larger sail and hopefully a more efficient sail with less wrinkles and stuff it seemed like an easy improvement. Got a new tarp. The older one was actually a tarp as well, but it was like a clear one with white reinforcement. I think this will be better because it's actually a lot smoother. It doesn't have the rubbing and it's going to be bigger. The old one was 3.75 on a side. This one's going to be 4.5 meters which makes it from 6.08 square meters to 8.76 square meters. So nearly half again. The original sail I had hand sewn on the beach. I didn't have access to a sewing machine at that time. And also I was curious to see how more traditional techniques would work out. I'd seen photos of Pacific Islanders making sails from Tapolin and they usually sewed in a rope along the edge and then laced that onto the spars. This actually turned out quite well. I think largely because when you go slow, it's easy to go straight. Tarpaulin is quite slippery, so it's difficult to sew straight with a machine. For this sale, I was gonna go for pockets rather than lacing, and I had a plan on how to make it all straight. The first step is trimming off the edges of the tarp, which are doubled up and will stretch differently to the middle of the tarp. And then I made the pockets separately, carefully cutting out long strips that I would fold over and sew onto the sail. The sail is pretty big, so I cut out four strips and then joined them together to make two long strips. I fastened them temporarily with a staple gun. I thought this might hold it more securely than pins. And also they're not too difficult to remove and come in a box of a thousand for like a, just a few dollars. We'll just sew those together like this. I laid out my spars on my big tarp. This footage is about 30 times, so you can see I spent a lot of time thinking about what to do next and trying to get the tarp as flat as possible, with some success. This sail, like most traditional sails, is just flat cut. I think having a spar top and bottom, which makes the sail shape work in a totally different way to a Bermudan sail, which relies on a lot of tension in the leech and on the jib, also the luff. Eventually I built up the confidence to actually cut out my triangle. I laid out all the pieces of the sail, the sleeves, and I also needed a small extension at the throat to get the full triangle. And then I stapled that all together. Very carefully putting the staples on the line that I've marked on the main triangle and also on the sleeves. Also note that I laid out the sail so that the fibers are parallel to the leech sail is less stretchy in the direction of the fibers and by the way the leech is the back of the sail. I cut off the factory edge on the leech and folded it over and made a small sleeve. This will have a small string inside of it for adjusting the tension in the back of the sail. Spending a lot of time thinking about how the sail is going to work. Not entirely sure how I want to do these corners yet but the yard will come in and then fit into a pocket there. I very carefully sewed down the lines I had marked. I'm using a zigzag stitch because looking at proper professionally made sails they generally use zigzag stitches for things like this. My understanding is the zigzag stitch doesn't interfere with the stretchiness of the sail. That is to say it doesn't create a hard point in the sail. I'm removing the staples just before the sewing machine gets them. I think the staples worked pretty well, except for the one limitation that you can only staple near the edge of the material. This wasn't a problem for the leech line pocket that I am sewing here, but it did limit the spar sleeves to being just 100mm deep.
and I'm going to have a reefing point, a zip off reefing point. So unzip the whole last bit of the sail and it will go down to the, the six metre sail I currently have or the almost nine metre sail. Unreefing, probably a bit of a hassle, but I bet reefing is just like drop the sail, unzip, hoist the sail again. Should be, should be quick, which is what you want. Taped the zip down. Now I'm going to sew it down one side, then remove the tape, and then the other side. I cut off the excess of the zip and then I melted it so that the zipper head wouldn't come off. But I didn't actually melt it quite enough. Fuck! But luckily I managed to get it back on. That was lucky. I put the spars back in and then went outside and held the sail up in the breeze. And I discovered the zip wouldn't stay together on its own, so I needed something extra. So I sewed on some of these side release clips. They seem to work pretty well and they also have a strap length adjustment on one side, so that gives me a way to adjust tension on the luff and the foot. I went outside and held it up again and this time it stayed together. Although I could see that the zip was a little bit less stretchy than the tarp and that created a hard point. Here's an important detail that I missed before. This is how the leech line attaches, this is the top end. Just goes through holes which I melted with a soldering iron and then a stopper knot. At the bottom I have the same basic design, except you can see that the stopper knot isn't actually touching. So this is just held in place by friction and it's been quite a while since I've actually adjusted it and it hasn't moved. The tack is just kind of tied on like this. I need a way to adjust the tension on the sides of the sail and it's possible but it's not really a good design yet. You can see some damage on the corner here and that black strap is reinforcement I sewed on. I think next time I build a sail I'll have a lot more stuff like that. I cut a few slits in the pockets where I needed to attach lines to the boom. I think some reinforcement in this area wouldn't hurt. Let's see this new sail in action. I'd say it's pretty good and definitely a big improvement over my previous sail. But I can see that there's not a completely smooth curvature over the sail and I think partially that's because of the zip making a hard point. However the zip is so useful. Um, I think essential, especially with an extra big sail like this. The next sail will have some sort of reinforcement in the corner so I don't get these wrinkles um, from the corner. It also looks like there's a little bit, a little bit of curl in the, in the leech. Um, I think that's less bad than the leech flapping. Post a comment if you think different. Now looking from the other direction, we get some nice speed here, and from this um, from this angle, you can see that the um, wind pressure is actually putting a bend in the in the boom. Now maybe that's the reason why the sail shape seems a bit loose at the top corner. And perhaps I can fix that just by changing the bridle, um, making the bridle wider, I guess. Um, pretty nice sailing here with small fetch, although quite gusty with the trees around and stuff, but I can go pretty fast. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Please post a comment. And happy shunting, everyone.